good, man. Let's get this thing popping. Let me see here. Okay, this is the type of shit that <laughs> I normally don't talk about, but I wanted to drive a point home. This is probably going to be the shortest story ever, I promise you. Now, a lot of us have, if unless you've been living under a rock, all of us who follow hip-hop, follow pop culture, we are aware of the incident with Meg Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez, right? So supposedly, because I don't know the true story, and none of us do, right? That's the point of me talking about this. Supposedly, the sister and the brother were dating or around each other for whatever reason, and ultimately, they get into an argument, which leads to Meg Thee Stallion being shot in her foot, right? So she's saying he shot her. He's saying he didn't shoot her. Here's the point. Like I said, this is probably going to be the quickest story in history. Here's the point. In my opinion, because in our society, the reason why I don't talk about these kind of stories, because we have this thing where we idolize celebrities way too much, right? Because a motherfucker can dance or sing or act on a screen, we kind of put them on this pedestal where they're above certain things or put them on this pedestal where we're always watching them. Me personally, I don't give a fuck what no celebrities is doing, family. Not at this stage in my life. I got way too much shit going on to spend my time thinking about what uh, uh, us, but a particular incident with a goddamn celebrity. And this story brought that to my attention because on social media, when I'm doing my thing, posting my stories or whatever, I see a lot of people talking about this shit in family. Here's the thing. Simply put, this shit ain't none of your fucking business, man. Did you know that? Have you thought to... What if you were a popular person, right? Let's flip it on the other foot. What if you were a popular person? Just by happenstance. You're, you're doing something. You, you're real talented. You're a singer, dancer, fucking rapper, whatever the case may be. You get into an incident. Now, again, I understand being in the public eye. The public will speak. But we need to stop some of this shit, especially in black culture. We got way too much shit going on to give a fuck about a Megan Thee Stallion or Tory Lanez incident. You know what I mean? So what if you're in a position where you're a black person of influence? You get into a situation where you know the details. You know the details. And you go online, and you got thousands of motherfuckers talking about your business. And I'm sure a lot of times it's wrong. A lot of times it's misinformation being, being conjured up. Think about... How faulty that is. Think about how fucked up that is, right? So I pray for both of these, my sister and my brother. I pray for them, and I don't give a fuck what really happened because it's none of my business. Now, granted, if Tory Lane shot a black woman in the foot, that ain't cool. Like, just on some real shit. That, that's kind of feminine, you shooting a woman. I don't care how tall she is, how short you is. I've heard of niggas putting their hands on women, which ain't cool. But if you shoot a woman in the foot, it's kind of some weird shit. Kind of like some passive-aggressive beta male shit, in my opinion. But the reason why I shoot the brother some bail is because I don't know what happened. She say one thing, he say one thing, I just back up and say, y'all handle it. God bless you. I don't know what the fuck happened. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck happened. None of us do. Right? How about, be, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's like nobody says, I don't know no more. Nobody looks at something and say, I'll just wait till all the facts come out. I don't know what really happened. Everybody thinks they knows everything, man. Just because a news, just because TMZ say it, just because you read it in a news article, that don't mean it's real all the time. You know what I mean? Sometimes you can research things and get facts. But shit don't be the truth all the time. So my message to everybody, mind your fucking business. None of this got nothing to do. Worry about your kids. Worry about your kids' success. You should be more worried about how detrimental their music is to your kids' ears. Opposed to some fucking incidents they're getting into, right? And I was reading through some things and I seen millions, Meg Thee Stallion saying, you know, black women aren't protected. I don't like that narrative. They ain't protected by who? We can't take... A, let's say the brother did shoot her in the foot. Sucker shit. If that actually happened, right? Well, and we need to get the whole story. Because what if he had a reason to? Like, on some, what if he had a reason to? We don't know what happened. But let's say there was no sensical reason. He shot her in the foot. This is a one-off. This is a silly nigga doing silly nigga shit. This ain't got nothing to do with all of us. You can't have this incident happen and, ha and say, okay, black women aren't protected. Because I've seen several videos of black men protecting black women. I'm, I myself, if I see an incident happening with a black woman, I'm going to step in and do whatever I can. And I know a lot of black men like that. So we can't paint everything with a broad brush and saying because of this incident with these two people that all of a sudden black women aren't protected. Nah, this is a nigga that did some nigga shit too. This is a one-off, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So look, family, 
I'm not saying not to indulge in entertainment and not to uh, enjoy certain things, right? We all need to let our hair down at times. We all need to be free of working and be free of business and just use the other side of our brain where we're just entertaining ourselves. I get that. But don't be spreading shit around that you don't know is true. Don't be coming up with all these conclusions about who's what and who did what. Well, you don't even fucking know. Don't put too, don't put too much stock in situations where you have no way of knowing the fucking truth. Unless you know him. Now, if you know Meg Thee Stallion, then you got leg to stand on. If you, was, if, you, if you know Tory Lanez, you his friend, you probably got leg to stand on because you talked to him. We don't know these fucking people, right? So that's the point of the story. Mind your fucking business. All right. Next story here. I'm moving along. I'm moving and I'm grooving. You feel me? I'm moving.